thing family and impact it has on child development and education. Now we're going to split up into our sections. We're going to have Simone and all her babies sit over here on the couch. And over here, we have Desiree and all her babies over here. <laughs> and me and my mom just sit over here. So here Here's what we're gonna do. You don't know what couch to go to? No! They don't find me over here! Alex? I don't like karaoke. So I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. So as you can see, I think the boys settle and set. Now this is family. So we're gonna be as real as possible here. And this is family for you. But over here, as you can see, we have a wall of images pertaining to family. Mother, father, church, God, education. God? So what we're going to do is, so what we're going to do here today, as a family unit, we're going to each come up, pick a picture off of the wall, take a picture off of the wall, take it back to your section, and you're going to have like a unit discussion on why you picked that picture. Then we'll come back maybe about two, three minutes, and each person is going to explain why they picked the picture that they picked, okay? okay. So, so we're going to start with Dee Dee and the kids. This is my oldest daughter, Dee Dee. You see the name placards on their chairs with their ages. We got Dee Dee, Elijah, Devin, Ariana, Raylan. Why they get to go first? Because <laughs> that's your oldest sister. That's why yes. she gets to go first. <laughs> and Rayleigh gets to take a picture too. Whatever one she likes. Got too many kids. They picking all pictures. Okay. <laughs> they got too many kids. Okay. So now, Simone and Ace, go ahead and go. He didn't go. Is that the one you want to Ace? Put that picture back. Go ahead. Let's pick a picture. Go pick a picture. One picture. It don't work. Okay. If you want to pick more than one, you can. Yes, if you want to pick more than one, you can.
and it's powerful. And I picked this because anything that you didn't know, you can like get the hang of it. Mm. How does family impact that? Uh, that's for everybody. Remember, we want to make sure we're kind of specifying how family impacts child development and education. To stay together? Stay together? Okay, who's next? Uh, you, uh, okay, I picked this one. No, it's what? Education. Just a hint. Okay, explain. Uh, educa education opens the door for many success. That's it. Can't hear you. We can't hear you, Devin. I picked the victory because, um, God sacrificed himself to save our lives. Then when I struggle with things, I, I pray to God for help. Okay. I picked this picture. Um, it says to me, she's a, I'm a nurturer. I protect my children. I try to, uh, you know, uh, Give them knowledge and hope, you know, that they can strive to do anything they want to do. Uh, and, uh, and I think uh, this involves with uh, education and uh, family. All right. I have a picture of a young lady with some question marks around her head. She appears to be curious. She has questions. And I chose this because um, with my own kids, they have a lot of questions, a lot of them, from the oldest to the youngest, especially the youngest, 20 questions in a row. <laughs> but I have a general rule. I never tell my kids to stop asking questions. I will try to answer as many questions as I can stand to uh, answer at that given time because I want them to remain curious and um, you know, ask the important questions because that's applicable to all parts of life. Getting them to ask the right questions to get the information that they need. And so, <clears throat> I encourage that because that's kind of how I operate. And as a, I want my family to also have that general habit of getting into asking the right questions to get to the right solution. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I mean school because you eat out lunch because, because or you can play on school in your classroom uh, and or you can read books in your classroom. Uh, Mama. And, Mama. and it makes you smart Mama. too. It's a dream. <laughs> Oh. Okay, here you. Two different ways. Two different ways to learn. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I so I chose two. I chose this one because my brain was on the funny side, and I thought of when Mama told me that my dad used to straighten his hair before he went to school. <laughs> And this one is more about family because we love to watch TV together and play on the Xbox and uh, we love our electronics and doing crafts together. So this is a picture I chose, um, Trusting God. Um, that has a lot to do, thank you, with everything. Um, so from education, you need God. For your family, keep together, you need God. Um, reason why I like this picture is because it's peaceful. When you look at it, you look at the world, you look at things going on in school. It was just another shooting a couple of days ago in California um, at a high school. So we took God out of the system, and yet we're dealing with all these issues. So I feel like if we keep him in the midst of things, our family, our education, nothing can stop us. So that's why I chose that picture. I chose this picture. I chose this picture here because this is important for our lives. Just like it was already mentioned, that church is important because this is the basis of our learning. It's the 
basis of our learning. And when you do go to church, especially for children, this is where they need to learn. The Bible says, go up a child in the way they should go, and they will not depart. Because God always has a way of bringing them back. Because they're, it's, in their, it's in them. It's up here. And they know when they do wrong, God always will bring them back. And I chose this picture because it shows Christ, that he died for us. And this, this is who we can always depend on. Like it's always has been said, we can depend on Christ. We can depend on God because he did die for us, for our sins. And without him in us, we have nothing. It says education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world by Nelson Mandela because I believe that knowledge is power and the more we educate ourselves, the more we develop cognitively to respond to the things that go on in life today. And the other one I picked, I think more so I picked this picture because of the star and I think all of our children and as they develop Sometimes within the school system, I can just see stars bursting everywhere once they develop a concept that they said they could never get, they don't understand, but when a child all of a sudden develops and understands concept in their work or things to do at home, to me it's a shining star. So that's primarily why I picked it. Says each and every child, and it talks about how... Uh, Family connection is a key for each and every child. So, why'd you choose that picture? Because, because um, uh, 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 it looks like about education and thinking. Uh, uh, education and thinking. That's good. Let's go ahead, Naya. Why do you choose that now? I choose this one because they have a backpack, and I always have a backpack when I go to school. Uh, and the mom is walking with somebody in That's good. to school. Mm -hmm. Oh, I chose this uh, one because it has a little bit of everything in it. Um, um, first off, family. Um, uh, and then we have children, and then we have work. Uh, family is supposed to be key, personally. Um, but sometimes, in, in some cases, they're not. Um, my children, children are the world. Um, I work at a school, and... Um, they need a lot of attention, so children are important, and they need us. And then work, of course, work. We have to take care of the important ones, um, and take care of, take care of ourselves too. So that's why I chose this because it has a little bit of everything in here as far as family. So we're here actually discussing uh, the topic, talking about family, child development. Well, how family impacts child development in development. Well, how family impacts child development in education. So that's why I went through and picked as many pictures as I possibly could, um, just to help our thought process. And I thought it would be good if we would do what we did here today, just sit down and hear each other's thoughts. Because at this point right here, this is a moment in our lives right now that will forever have a impact and development on our kids. Because one day they're going to look back and say, oh, I remember when. Yeah, and that karaoke video was like, whoa. You didn't have to do it. <laughs> well, they just got here. <laughs> but this is nice. So here's what I want to do right now is that we're going to go around slowly. Mm. And I want you to introduce yourself. We didn't do this at the beginning, but that's okay. I want you to introduce yourself. You have a name tag. Give your name, your age, what school you go to for the children, and your favorite subject. The children are going first, all right? So uh, 
doing? <laughs> okay, my name is Elisha. I'm 13. The school I go to is Chapel Hill. And my favorite subject is science. My name is Devin Anthony. <laughs> 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 Come on. How old are you? My name is Devin Anthony. I am 12 years old. What school is this? I go to Ruby Elementary. I'm in sixth grade. My favorite subject is math. Uh, hi, my name is Ariana. I'm 10 years old. Uh, yeah. I go to Ruby Elementary, I'm in fourth grade, and my favorite subject is math. Oh, okay. My name is Carrington, I'm 13, I go to East Middle School, and my favorite subject is math because it's easy. Hey, hi, my name is Alex Kirchner, and I go to Eagle Elementary, and I, live, and I go to fifth grade, and my favorite subject is math. Hi. My name is... I'm 13 years old. I'm in eighth grade. And I go to Chapel Hill. My favorite subject is language arts. My name is Anaya. My name is Anaya. My name is Anaya. I'm seven years old. My favorite subject is math. My name is you go to what school? North Point. Hey, North Point. Hi. What's your name? Oh, Can you show them your name tag? Go to the front. Say Raylan. Raylan. What's your favorite subject? My name's Neil. I'm 12. I go to New Augusta North. And my favorite subject is math. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Angela. And excuse my tardiness. I have, I had do hair. Um, so, um, the most important thing I will share with my kids is what I know. And what I know most is math. I will teach them math and then I'll go to why we need math in life. Um, on top of respecting one another, um, teaching them good morals, um, always be kind and um, always be fair. You're not fair nowhere, you fair within yourself and the people around you. Um, so that's what I would teach my kids, and that's what I've been trying to teach my kids. Mm -hmm. What school you go to? Um, I go to CTU, Colorado Technical um, School Online, um, doing business administration and accounting. All right. <coughs> My name is Arthur, or Ace, as you may hear later on. Um, I'm 31. I had to check real quick, make sure. And my favorite thing, I don't really have a favorite thing that I like to teach my kids, um, or my family, uh, period. I would say, instead of a particular subject, I like when my kids ask me real specific questions about the world and uh, history and things like that where it's not just, uh, you know, this is how you do this kind of math problem, this is how you read this. When they say, you know, what would happen if this fell off of this building and this, that, and then, you know, we can walk through that scenario together. Things like that that really kind of um, put together a whole thought process and also, um, like I said earlier, encourage that general uh, curiosity and, um, you know, hunger to see you know how things work in life. Um, 
I do think that it's important to go over specific subjects like math and English and science um, at home, just as well as with the school. Um, but again, you know, they're getting that formal um, attention on those kind of subjects at school, which are supplemented at home. As for me and my role, I think it's important to answer those kind of questions that don't come up at school, that only somebody, you know, an adult in your life uh, can help you with. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. Mm -hmm. I am Simone Cantrell. I am 32. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I can't see my started. sticker. So, um, one thing that I would want my kids to pick up from me is really knowing God. Um, my thing is, I love to laugh. I don't want to be frustrated, I don't want to be sad, I don't want to have to worry. So there's this surrounding peace when everyone else is upset because they can't pay bills or the car went down or the job going crazy. Like he gives me that peace in the midst of everything where I should be crying but I'm still smiling. So if they don't get anything else from me, know that there is a God that will take care of all if you just trust him. Um, on top of that, you know, good, good work ethic. Ain't nothing's gonna be given to you, period. Right. You know, so you gotta work for what you want, work for what you need, and pray and know that he's gonna provide the rest of uh, it. My name is Desiree Blue Anthony, I'm 36. Um, the most recent topic that we have discussed in our household um, is education is key, is knowledge is power. I try to touch on our history, knowing who we are and where we came from. Always tell my children they come from kings and queens. They are royalty. Um, and I always pray and try to let them aware of their purpose and their gift that God has given them. And I tell them, and if you tap into that early and know your purpose and gift, you will go far than you will ever imagine. So, um, Again, I'm Georgina. One main yeah. thing that I, with my four children, my son is not here, TJ, was that, um, again, in their development, my strength and my power to keep my head on straight, to stay sane, was God. Uh, in that whole development and raising my kids process, it wasn't perfect, um, but... I've done all I can do to keep you all in a place of, like Samoa say, a peace, where I've done my best to try to keep a lot of outside entities away as much as possible. Um, that what I could do to help develop the thought process of, like the song said, we don't stress. We're going to develop something else to get through hard times and make that our family jewel. It's just to keep our heads on straight, keep our mindsets, keep our cognitive thinking in a place where when the world gets tough, we get tougher and we push and we move through it. We don't break down, we don't buckle, we don't fall, we don't falter, but we fight through it and we stand and then do all we can do to stand. I'm currently, well, I have a degree in criminal justice and a minor in psychology from Martin University, MU. Now I'm at another MU, Marion University, studying and getting my master's in arts of education. So, Mom. My name is Merlin. As you can see, I am 76 and proud of it. God brought me this far. Um, So one thing that you try to teach us what I what I try to teach them. I taught my children when they were coming up. Mm -hmm. Main thing I taught them is to love one another and stick by one another mm -hmm. and be together mm -hmm. always. And I also let them know that Philippians 3, 14, 3 14 says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And that means you. So when you keep your hand in God's hand, which which is great because I have one, I have two ministers here. Two of my kids are ministers. Okay, and I'm just glad that they were able to stay on that straight and narrow, you know, that I taught them. I raised them to be honest, 
be truthful. And to always, always make sure that they did yourself right with God. And I want to go back to Ace, because um, you did, what school did you graduate from? I was at the graduation, I know what I just want you to say it. <laughs> um, we graduated from <clears throat> RTT Technical Institute of Indianapolis and uh, have a certification from Auburn Tech Community College in Indianapolis. Uh, both of those are in information technology. Is that, your, is that your occupation now? Well, no. My occupation now is a supply chain analyst. Uh, so, but yeah, I try, kind of transition. But the skills from my IT are still applicable in pretty much all fields. So, yeah. so my occupation now? I am the senior site supervisor um, for Walmart Distribution E-Commerce. Um, I run all four shifts and all supervisors report to me. Angie, your occupation? My occupation is uh, um, instructor. Um, I, I have a classroom of like, 20 students and I uh, assist them with school, um, catching up, uh, understanding um, the different subjects that they're in. So, in uh, I work for Pike Township and Lincoln Middle School. I've been doing it for about a year now. Um, never thought I'd be a teacher, but I always wanted to be a teacher. We never did. <laughs> I always wanted to be a math teacher, but uh, I, this is something that I like to do. I feel that they need me. I'm also an entrepreneur. I actually have my own business as far as doing hair, too. Um, I have a certificate in uh, as a cosmetologist, and I'm a licensed, licensed educator. Um, and I love doing hair. That's actually my passion. Oh, so that's what I wanted to add. To. You right. And your occupation be nursing assistant. Well, my occupation is, oh, I'm a TOR at, uh, what? a TOR, which is a teacher of record for special, ed special education at uh, Thomas Carr Howe Community High School for 7th, 8th graders. And mom wanted to talk about your education. Um, when I worked at um, Blue Green Corporation, um, when I worked at Blue Green Corporation about eight years ago, eight years ago, I retired in 2000, 2005 to leave, no, yeah, 2005 to go to Pittsburgh, take care of my mom. I took care of her for three, three and a half, almost four years. Before she passed. And when I was in Decatur, Illinois, I did go to school when I got my degree in entrepreneurism. So nobody knows what that is, but it's where you can have, you can put a group of things together. So I, I did. I am a tax consultant. And I also can do business plans, business management, and all that. So this is the place that I went to school for. In Decatur, Illinois. And weren't you a nurse's aide back in the day? I was I was an LPN, assistant right. LPN, right. way back in the day. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So therefore, that kind of tells you that things evolve and we get our um, our characteristics and some of our attributes carry on through life as the family cycle continues on with our development as a family unit. unit. Um, so. Um, does anybody else have anything else to say? Because that's going to conclude our family on our family. It's finished. It's what? It's finished. It's finished. Yeah, it's finished. Our family discussion on family and child development and how it impacts education. Karaoke time with the family.
Just witnessed another noise production, bringing all your imagination to life.